and then strides away and kicks a long bomb. The paddock set up. Carey, the wrong way out to find Grant, and Grant's on to set a half forward to Carey. Getting across was uh, McKenna to half forward. Carey and Jakovic. Jakovic and Carey. Do we've said that a few times over the years? Harvey may go now. Now to the king. Jakovic with him. Wrong kick, really. Gave Jakovic a chance. Kerry uses his bottom. I'm enthralled by this Kerry Jakovic battle already. It's almost like Wayne's just getting on sharp, hard leads, and he's going for straight line leads. But other than that, he wants to body. Jakovic is suited to that. He's just got to start bending the lead on Jakovic, take him off the line which he sets off on. And Jakovic has just got the body that he can stand up with him. Belda Simpson has some time to set it up. The long high bum, the Twin Towers, Carey and also McKernan can offer a valuable lead here. Here it comes. Morrison against oh. the tie. Carey. I reckon the new rule stop lane barreling then. Bell, Harvey, very short and gets to Carey. First real chance here for the King. 55 out, loads it, loads it, loads it and kicks it. And kicks it through. Here. This is where they're so good. Carey, Jakovic, Jakovic to ground, laying on his left foot, controls it well to Carey, free kick to Carey against Jakovic, too high. Had to stretch him, didn't he? So his best option is, well, take the umpire on. He has to make a decision here on the 50 50. If he goes my way, I'm still in the hunt. Otherwise, Carey doesn't drop these. Good view of the kick, it looks good, doesn't it? Kicks inside 50. Jakovic, Carey, McIntosh, and McKernan. Wapunda. Out of play. 91 to 49. To Shannon Grant. Down the line. Oh, Jakovic hanging on to Carey. Play on. He's going to Carey. But either lost confidence in going to him or he's not presenting himself. Here he is. Yeah, hold. He's got one. But they haven't done that for 10 minutes, I reckon, going no, to carry like that. You're right, Bruce, and I think it's a combination of two things. One, he is not 100% fit. Two, Glenn Jakovic has once again taken the honours tonight. He's come up the ground, though. I reckon the uh, Pagan has actually said to Wayne, get into the traffic, make him think you're playing at half forward now, but get into the traffic and be a midfielder just forward of the centre and leave Evan Hewitt to tower over the top of Metropolis. Kerry to go for his second goal tonight. Gets it through. See, this is, I love watching these battles here. I Just mean... Fair handful of jumper, do Oh, yeah. well, they do it to each other, don't they? <laughs> I mean, that is... Uh, Look at the jumper stretch from Jakovic's left hand. There is about 32, 33 stone of muscle. Just... And then goes long inside 50. Jakovic belts away. Ball comes to ground. Clayton uses Carey. Carey hooks it. And that just would have given them something had he scored. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jakovic will enjoy that. I reckon Jakovic will be getting a little bit of enjoyment looking back at this, knowing that he's pulled Carey up the ground. Yep. They're not even bothering to swap now. Initially, when they first started, uh, McIntosh and Jakovic were swapping on yep. Carey, but now that he's got on top, he's just staying with him full time and really soaking up the confidence. <laughs> Carey's in the box seat. Clayton, I don't know if he got a call or not, Carey. Metropolis, nice handball to space. Jakovic, strength. Well, Jack